Hey, Virgo. All right, let's see what mess you're getting yourself into in January. Oh my goodness, I almost forgot. I was going to say June. What's going on in June? Um, yes, welcome back, everybody. If you're new, please do click like, share, and subscribe if you enjoy my channel. And if you haven't hit that button yet, please, please, please do so. Um, all right, so this is a channel for Virgos, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. So as per normal, some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take what fits and leave the rest, okay? Personal reading links are below in the description box, um, as well as my website where you can book a personal reading with me, okay? And you can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, everything's down there. Enough, enough. Okay, let's see. Virgo, your past couple of readings have been something, huh? So let's see what the messages are for you. What kind of drama is Virgo trying to avoid in January? Virgo, sun, moon, rising, or Venus for January. Okay. Oh, nobody's trying to avoid abundance here. Keeping a positive mindset manifest exactly what you want gratitude and bliss good for you virgo that looks very positive for you right living in your abundance okay <laughs> why because you're like not today satan yeah virgo when you let go of that stuff i'm telling you then you're in your bliss not dealing um there's a hurtful or too much hurt avoiding a conversation call or a person boundaries still angry or just not bothering anymore and that is in january giving you complete abundance and bliss this is giving you an opportunity to manifest exactly what you want you're just not taking anybody's ish today or tomorrow or the next day or all of january and so on and so forth so virgo it looks good it looks like you know what you need to do um it feels like you're just not dealing with any drama. You're not dealing with any crap in January from anyone, okay? You also have Cupid's arrows, having faith, love is coming, surprise invitation or meeting, okay? Um, so, hmm. Now, some of you might be rejecting someone who's reaching out to you um, or that's calling you that wants to kind of, you know, invite you out or meet up with you or connect with you um or you are just yeah i kind of feel like there is somebody here who's going to reach out um try to talk to you or invite you out or something along those lines cupid's arrows you know the whole thing um this person i feel like hesitates at first but they are going to do it but it feels to me like you're not going to accept you might just also not be in that mindset in January that you really are interested in going that route, that route, route. <laughs> you're trying to stay positive. Um, some of you are just like focusing on self at this time, learning to love self, okay? Um, and for others of you, um, there may be love coming in. You know, somebody does surprise you or asks you out and um, hmm. You know what? I'm not going to go into 10 different messages. Let's just stick with the message here. Virgo, somebody that you don't want to talk to or that you're avoiding or that you don't want to talk, like have any conversation with, um, you're avoiding the person or the phone call or something like that, <clears throat> wants to come in and, and connect with you. That I mean, that's just, this might be somebody you know, and I just feel like you, you're like, no. You may not even know this person is calling because you might have them blocked. So you might have them like you're autumn, like by default avoiding this person, right? I just feel for you, Virgo, it's like, no, nah, you're not trying to connect with somebody here. Okay. I just want to see what the love messages are. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody wants to get engaged or take it to the next level here. Virgo, you're avoiding this. Why are you, I mean, you're angry at someone, you're just not interested, this person's trying to come in, maybe they play games, um, but this person trying to come in and be playful with you and flirt with you, I don't know, Virgo, you're, I don't know, you're, you're like, no, talk to the hand, no, <laughs> you're just not doing it, okay, unrequited love, 
I feel like somebody here, maybe you're feeling like there's just not enough attraction to this person that you want to talk to them or be in a relationship with them, okay, in January. Um, you might just be so focused on your own abundance and your own bliss that nothing is nothing and no one is good enough compared to that okay so yeah I, I do feel like there is also someone here that feels like this is unrequited love that there just there wasn't enough attraction or chemistry to keep the relationship going they want to try to manifest that with you okay so Virgo what's going on here I want to take a look and see why you are like not dealing with someone I mean if you're hurt or you're still angry like what is going on why you don't want to because I see somebody trying what's going on with you Virgo you just don't you're like no you don't want to talk to somebody here you don't want to you're avoiding someone okay you want to be free Virgo from something or some relationship okay at the king of cups so it's the first court card showing up here so cancer pisces scorpio it looks like you just want to be free from somebody who comes in you know they come in with kindness they come in with this nurturing energy okay they're a little bit aggressive but this person feels betrayed but you feel betrayed okay i feel like this person might have stabbed you in the back in the past you know, um, or they were really aggressive with being that way with you. Okay, they hurt you. And it looks like you just want to be free from that energy. You don't want anything to do with this person. They don't have to be a water sign, but they come in um, with someone who's like healing, nurturing. You know, um, I don't see anything negative about this person, but it doesn't mean that there isn't. Okay, Virgo, so... Yeah, January looks like it's all about you. Like you've put an end to something. And this, whatever you've put an end to, and I feel like I'm just repeating this story. I feel like whatever you're putting an end to, this person's coming charging back in. But let, let me see. Virgo, I just want to look at your abundance and your, your, you know, your bliss and what this freedom is all about for you. What does this mean? Oh, look at that. You're putting, you put it, either you've already done it or you're doing it. You're putting an end to something. The death card. Leo energy, Scorpio energy. It might have been like a life or death situation for some of you. But I feel like you are, you know what? Yeah, Virgo. I just feel like you, you just want to get back out in the sun, wherever you were before. Like it was very cold. Look at that death card. It's like all black. It's just very cold. You want to be out in the sun. You want to be like bright and shiny and glowing in your life, living in your abundance and your uh, your bliss. Look at this similarity in these two cards here. That's what I'm talking about. You see, you see the little, you see the baby there on the on the horse. Are you, is that a horse? Yeah. And then that person there, it's like arms up in the air. It's like happy, happy, joy free. You want to dance in the sun. You know, I just feel like this is what you, this is what you're focusing on right now and you're not you're just like not dealing with someone you put an end to something or something has ended and you just don't want to go back i will tell you that this person though they're just going to keep trying to reach out to you but i don't know virgo you might be so busy just skipping in a field of flowers you won't even notice show me virgo's abundance what is going on okay wow your just intuition is on point at this time and you're also like giving someone the silent treatment some of you might be doing that on purpose or you're just silent like you are not you're you've withdrawn yourself from this person and yeah you're you're done right and you're really getting in tune with your intuition that um high priestess I feel like that's your energy, like you're, you're being very mysterious, or at least people see you this way. Learning to trust yourself as well. So I love this energy for you. I do. Oh, look, you have the Knight of Cups, right? You're getting like this desire to have um, romance in your life again. I feel like you want new romance in your life. Let me see what's coming for you, because it was just kind of like looking at your abundance and where you are. And the things that you, you know what you're doing spiritually but let me see what's coming towards you 
in January? What's coming towards Virgo in January? What are the good stuff? Any messages for Virgo coming towards Virgo in January? Okay, look, there you are. Queen of Pentacles, good. So it looks like you're gonna be really focused on work, career, business, things that are real and tangible. Um, I see you really like, if I can't touch it, if I can't taste it, if I can't smell it, um, then it's not real. I'm only dealing with things that are real, nothing fake. And that Queen of Pentacles is basically, um, you're looking for reliability, or a reliable person, you're becoming a reliable person. It's just you getting grounded and getting real with yourself. And that, that's awesome. Like you're not living in fantasy land. You're living in truth and justice. Okay, some of you might actually be getting like a finalized divorce, um, winning some kind of court case, um, or winning something. It's in your favor, like the truth will prevail. There's fairness coming towards you. So if you have um, something that you, hmm, this is also karma and this is good karma. I feel like for you, okay, with justice, this is Libra and energy as well. And we also have Pisces. So I, you know, Virgo, it's like things are working out for you in January. What I see coming towards you. Look at that. Okay. Some of you are definitely getting, um, a divorce will be legalized or finalized. And some of you, um, will actually are on your way to being in a position where you can live happily ever after family friends total support um and and love total love and support from other people like i don't know virgo it's like you've crossed over some kind of threshold and in january it starts all coming to you like all this good karma starts coming back to you you have let go of someone or ended something, or you're just, it's like dead in the water, just betrayal, stabbed in the back, um, like complete and painful ending, complete rock bottom for you, Virgo, and you're moving on. That's what I see. And letting go releases everything and gives you this opportunity to allow the new blessings of love and truth and justice and fairness to come into your life and really just sticking with what's tried and true and real okay and you will have options virgo in january there will be other people coming in in your life maybe not all of january um could be up until april this time up into april where you know you get all these love offers coming into you and you're kind of like okay i'll let you know and then the second one comes in. Okay, I'll let you know. And then the third one comes in. Okay, I'll let you know. And then the fourth one. <laughs> and it's like, you know, all these surprises, you know. Um, and you, I don't know that you're going to take them. I feel like you're just going to be like, oh, I don't know. But you're definitely going to absorb. Um, because that's like the Ace of Cups right there coming in for you. I mean, you're definitely going to be like, wow, whoa, wow, whoa. And all this good energy, you know. Um, it's either one person who keeps making the offer um, or it is a bunch of different people. If it's one person making an offer, let me tell you. Hold on, where's my paper? I have, oh, okay. Um, okay, a cancer. A cancer, if it's one person, it's a cancer who just keeps trying and trying and trying and trying. And you're like, uh, I, don't know. I don't know, I'll let you know. Uh, I don't know, I'll let you know. Now, if that's your past person, because you did have the King of Cups there, it could be, um, it could be somebody new. Either way, I feel like your energy is like, thanks. Oh, look, an avocado. Oh, thanks. I don't know. <laughs> Feigning excitement, but yeah, the offers keep coming in for sure. Yeah, you just are kind of like, oh, I don't know, I have to think about it. Maybe you're just, you know, a little indifferent to love at this time, you know, because you ended something and you're just like not sure you're just taking your time making your decisions but love is definitely coming in look here's four of wands yet again okay so virgo i mean that's two fours 
And this is structure, foundation, stable situations, being able to make plans. You might be planning um, some get-togethers in January or uh, making plans for the future with other people, family, friends, some reunions, a homecoming, you know, a lot of that energy. I feel like you're really focused on that or just, you know, maybe there's a, home, um, a, a homecoming party or, um, you know, moving into a house and you're having like a... Um, like a, what is it called? A housewarming party or uh, you're moving into your new home or you're inviting people or you're hosting dinner parties or things like that um, or setting up, getting like excited for, you know, the warm weather or if you're in warm weather, setting up like outdoor events, making plans, planning weddings, doing all that kind of stuff. They might be stuff like at night, doing some night, partying hard at night <laughs> or just, you know, being very social at night with family and friends. I don't know, Virgo, I just feel like you have a lot of offers and opportunities coming in January and going into, um, oh gosh, you've got the Ace of Cups, you've got the Lovers, you've got the Hierophant, you've got Judgment, and you've got the Six of Cups, Virgo. I mean, for some of you, there is, like, you're going to be reuniting with someone who's done with the marriage, um, or you're done with the marriage, or both of you, and you're reconnecting. This could be someone from, like, your past, or a soulmate, um, or twin flame kind of energy, where things didn't go well, and now you both are, like, coming together. I mean, there's, like, a blessing in disguise happening here. Um, there's, like, a huge decision to actually get married or settle down into a long-term commitment. There's a lot of reconciliation happening here, okay? Um, and a lot of renewal, right? But there's also this opening up and awakening and kindness happening here for you. Now, again, Virgo, is it going to be that person? I mean, it could be, but, you know... If somebody, if you're done with something and somebody's coming to terms with they're not being done with you, well, it doesn't matter because if you're finished with it, then that's that. Yeah, right? So that's up to you, Virgo, what you decide to do. But I do feel like the minute you, you know, close out this energy, that's when everything starts coming in for you. And that's when past people, listen, we're in Mercury retrograde right now until I think January 18th. So you're going to have some past lovers showing up for sure. You're going to have new love coming up as well. And I don't know that you're going to be indecisive, but I do feel like you're going to put kind of everything on the back burner and just kind of, hmm, I need to think about this. I need to think about this. You're definitely going to be turning people down right from the start as you, um, you know, cycle out of some kind of old bull or some kind of old shit that you're in. Um, I just want to get a couple of extra cards here. I don't know why. They just said to um, get a couple of extra cards from another deck here. So let me see. Oh, there you go. Four of Wands yet again. There's definitely going to be some kind of reunion opportunity for reuniting with someone or going home. There's a surprise party. I mean, I'm just seeing family or people, friends coming together, a lot of success. There's an offer also for a job coming in for you, which is wonderful. Look, again with the reunion, a lot of reunion energy. Some of you are going to be reconnecting with old friends that you haven't seen for a while. There might be like tickets being purchased to reconnect with these people. Um, a lot of gatherings. I mean, it's like the New Year's parties have not ended. Like it's celebrating the new year and continuing to celebrate the new year in January. Like the opportunities are going to come. If you choose not to go, that doesn't make the reading invalid. That's you just taking your will back and saying, no, I'm not going to, I'm going to make this reading not come true. And I'm not going to accept any offers or any love offers or anything from anyone for whatever reason. That's fine. You do what you want. But I'm telling you the opportunities are going to arise. Okay. Especially for you to like get away. If that's something that you want to do. Are you... You, or you just might be like, everybody get away. <laughs> everybody get away. You're sneaking away, stealing away. You don't want to bother with anyone. Or some of you are like, nope, that's not true. I'm sneaking away with someone special. Okay, so you do have like a lot of that energy playing out. Let me see. Um, let's get see what your Chinese sign is. We're going to take a look at you, Virgo, because right now it's all about you. 
Virgo, right now, it's all about you. Listen, I have to ask you guys a quick question as you're listening. To, do are any of you tarot readers, like actual legit tarot readers, if you are, leave me a comment believe, uh, beneath this video or send me an email because I'm looking. I have an employment opportunity to offer for anyone that wants to um, do personal readings. Um, I am looking for at least four to five people who might be interested in um, signing up with me to do personal readings for other people. So if you are a tarot reader, um, if you have some experience, even if you're learning, I will be setting up classes where you sign up with me. You can, you know, get a discount on taking some of the classes so you could, you know, come work with me. But yeah, this is something that I have in the works and I'm just kind of putting it out there right now. So you can leave me a comment, but I would prefer that you email me. Um, my email address, the link is it's either below or it's here on my channel, houseovirgo at gmail. So yeah, please do let me know. Okay, let me see what your Chinese sign is. Who are we talking to today? Okay, so year of the goat, year of the dragon, double dragon, year of the tiger, okay, year of the rabbit, year of the rooster, double roosters, year of the pig, all right, tiger again, year of the rat, year of the pig again, year of the monkey and i feel like i had to get one more year of the snake okay so that could be your chinese sign if you're not sure what your chinese sign do look it up you can google your chinese sign all right let me just see what other messages i can give you here virgo do i want to do the hidden truth i don't think so all right i'm gonna do messages of love Messages of love for Virgo. What are the messages of love? Boundaries. Firm boundaries are needed now, Virgo. Yep. Get on them boundaries, Virgo. Retreat. Time alone or in nature will help you recharge. Obsession. Someone in this connection is gripped by obsessive thought. Someone's thinking about you, Virgo. Nonstop. 24-7. This might be this person calling you from all different numbers or what have you. Trying to reach you. Trying to stop you from walking away and being in your bliss okay mastery you've learned the spiritual lesson lovely okay your soulmate loves okay this is there's a soulmate around you there is a soulmate around you i don't know but it's probably like 10 or 20 we all have like a million soulmates okay but whoever this soulmate is the one may not be romantic it could be a friend right now this person loves and respect um, respects you they love you unconditionally Okay, acceptance. Everything happens for a reason, Virgo. Oh, okay, sexual. A connection is passionate, but not enduring. It, there might have been a connection that's strictly sexual. Yeah, a lot of passion. Some of you, okay, I'm just going to say it. Some of you are just like, you know what? <laughs> I'm not getting in a relationship right now. I just want a strictly sexual relationship. And, you know, don't cut on anybody who wants that. Some people do. Um, and somebody here, maybe secretly, is like, no, uh, no, uh, uh, the only, that's the only thing. That's all it could ever be, and that's the only thing it will ever be. Okay. Let me see here. Okay. Somebody wants you, Virgo. No. All right. They were just telling me to give this to you. I don't know who this person is. It could be this person who's obsessed with you. This person wants you to know that they still want you. They could not let you get close to them. They cannot stop thinking about you. They want to feel the way you made them feel. They want to feel that again. So you must have done something um, that caused this person, as typical Virgo, to have them obsessed with you. Um, hmm. They realized it was their fault and that they blamed you. Um, they lost themselves for a little while. They look for you everywhere. So many things, yada, 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 yada. Okay. Next. Let me get, I want to see what your charms are. What are your charms? What are Virgo's charms? Okay. Oh, little jackrabbit. This is one of those one of those fighting rabbits. He's got his dukes up. Maybe somebody's a fighter or a boxer. 
Uh, could be a year of the rabbit as well. They're a year of the rabbit. Hmm. Fighting for love. Somebody's fighting for your love. Okay. You might have like, um, hmm. I'm just seeing. Okay. They just gave me like a pink. I, I'm seeing like a perfume. Pink. Maybe it's called pink. Victoria's Secret pink or perfume or something like that. There's also something here with like a black. Cat. I'm seeing also a black cat shaped bottle. Okay. And, okay, you have a beautiful dove. Oh, and they just told me, hello, kitty. They just said, hello, kitty. Okay, I don't know what that means. And I'm going to get one more. One more charm. What the heck is this? This says, made with love. Okay, lots of hearts. Made with love. Give me something for the guys. Let's give us something for the guys. One thing for the guys. The masculines. All right. Black Star. Okay. Somebody's a Dallas Cowboys fan. I am just keep getting that. I hope you guys... Okay, my battery's dying. So I hope that this is still recording. Because I can't tell. I think it is. Okay. So, yeah. Something to do with a Black Star. Um, maybe there's like a, um, a tattoo. This is for the guys. It could be for the girls too, but there's like a tattoo, a black star maybe, or something that you have that is connected to a black star. And I'm also like, I'm feeling like the, I don't know, Cowboys fans. I don't know why. I know not all of you are football fans, but there's might something to do with Dallas or maybe somebody lives in Texas as well. Okay. One last card here. All right. Letter Z connecting someone with a Z and an R and um, no, they say get another one someone also has an S and a V in their name we have a K um, we also have the letter E I'm picking up an E and letter L someone's name with an L letter L Okay, I'm going to leave your reading there, you guys, because I think my battery's about to die, and then that would suck. So I will see you guys back here tomorrow, okay? Have a wonderful night, and please do go in the description box below. Join up at my website, and also you can follow me on Facebook, where I'm much more active on there, and I will see you all tomorrow. All right, take care. Okay, we're going to have a blooper. <laughs> this is going to be a blooper. I can't shut this off. Oh, my God. Okay, it's done. Are we done? Okay, we're done. Bye.